Hey there, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. It's Denise Salcedo, and I have another interview for you here today. I'm very excited to introduce to you, returning to Impact Wrestling, Zachary Wentz. What's up, dude? How's it going? <laughs> Good. How are you? I love it. I love the whole thing. <laughs> I keep that rascals, you know? <laughs> exactly. So, you know, let's get right into it. The rascals, uh, looks like you guys are back together, you and Trey Miguel. It's been a long time coming. You're back in Impact Wrestling. Uh, man, how does it feel? Oh, it feels great. I'm so excited to be back, you know, especially being back on TV and being with my best friend. Uh, Static. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You, you know, so I'm curious about that. Obviously, you had your stint in Impact Wrestling before, but how did the opportunity come about once again for you to, uh, you know, come back to Impact Wrestling? Um, honestly, just staying busy and hustling, and people seeing that myself and Trey were doing a lot of indie dates and Myron as well, and they're just like, yeah, it's 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 time. We need the how rascals did, back. So, how did it feel, kind of going out there and getting <coughs> back out there and doing those indie dates and being reunited with people you probably hadn't seen in a hot minute? Yep. Like, you know, you're seeing your best friend again. You know, there's a lot of people that, on the indie, especially at Revolver and stuff that are like I consider family. So it was just kind of like a family reunion, you know, where you just kind of pick up where things left off. Yeah, you know, I've always heard that every time like guys go back to the indies, it's always like, yo, like, oh man, like I'm so used to seeing you once again <laughs> and seeing you next to like, that's really awesome though, because it's like you're circling back and getting to see your, you know, your friends who like our family. Uh, with that being said, you know, I do want to go ahead and ask you because, you know, given how much your life has changed and like within the last year or so and getting this opportunity to once again be out there in front of a, you know, an audience like Impact Wrestling, um, how much more, how how much more does it mean to you i guess you can say to kind of get the second chance uh honestly it means everything like it, it means so much to me just because like you know there was a point where i i didn't know if i was going to be able to wrestle again you know and uh but just having this again i don't take anything for granted you know i i just i love every bit of this i love impact wrestling it's again like it's like going back to your family so yeah it just hits harder right like it hits harder once you kind of like i guess i don't know like maybe there was ever a point where you thought that this wasn't going to be an option once again and so to get that option to have it come back to you i can only imagine that you know it feels different yeah it definitely feels definitely feels different but i don't know i just you gotta like stay tried and true to yourself the whole time you know while you're going through stuff and that's what i did and i just knew where i wanted to be and i manifested that and i it, it happened right right exactly kind of like being true to yourself and manifesting that uh with what you said and it's a very difficult thing to do but clearly you did it you're back on impact wrestling you had a lot of fan support during this time mm -hmm. and so what was the reaction to your uh to your debut in impact wrestling what was the reaction from your fans that were supporting you on social media during all of this uh, what was their reactions I mean, if you look on social media, it's been nothing but like, yes, and expletive, yes, and <laughs> you know, and like, not only like for me was it fulfilling, I feel like to them as well, because during this whole time, you know, there was, there was a hashtag going out that was in support of myself, and a lot of these people, they tweeted every single week, nonstop, and I just, I really appreciate them so much. It makes a difference, I think, you know, to have people that were like, hey, like, you know what, like, let's get this hashtag going. And we know that people being mm -hmm. vocal on social media is definitely something that is kind of hard to ignore, uh, especially when you were seeing that hashtag every single week, you know, I would log on to Twitter and I'd see it. And I was like, okay, like this was going on. Okay, yeah. cool. <laughs> uh, you know, kind of move on with the day, but it is something that, you know, people were seeing. So that is very nice to have that support. Uh, what was the reaction from the boys once they saw you back in Impact Wrestling? Because, you know, being on the Indies is one thing, but then to get signed and return to a company like Impact, Impact, what was their reactions? I mean, I, it was just like a family reunion again, you know. Uh, there's a lot of guys that I came up with. We were just young kids, and we got, like, our first starts at Impact together. And going in the back, it just, like, 
I know Chris Bay, like, for example, he just like, man, like it, it feels like old days, like families back together. <coughs> Sorry, my allergies are it's okay. Be acting up. I got a dry throat, but uh, yeah, just, I don't know. It just feels like you're back with your family. Right. And, it, right. and it's, and it's not like, it's not like we didn't see each other on the Indies in this year and a half time. And it's not like we didn't like stop talking to each other. You know, I still kept in communication with a lot of people, but just being there at the same place again, just, I, I don't know, just fulfilling, very fulfilling. What was the best advice you got during this time period before returning to impact wrestling? Some, was there anybody that gave you some good advice or kind of just like kept you uh, motivated to kind of, uh, you know, re-pursue things? Uh, honestly, the best advice that I got was uh, from my girlfriend, Gigi Dolan. She just was constantly there for me. And would even if I was starting to drop my head, she'd pick my head up and say, hey, this is like, this is what you want. You have to keep manifest like keep the manifestation alive you know because if you get and the thoughts of like oh this is going to happen this is going to happen oh i blah 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 what was me boo hoo that's what's going to happen in your life and so she just kept me on like the right path mentally and spiritually was for you like what was the biggest like i know you mentioned kind of like staying on the right path and being like mentally able to kind of stay on uh for you, what was it like? How, how do you do that? How do you work around that? How do you go from like, hey, you know, a lot has been taken away from me in my life and I got to keep my head up, like you said, and manifest. How do you do that? I know it sounds corny, but you just do it. I like you, you just you just have to do it. Like, I don't know any other way of doing like explaining it, you know? Yeah, you just have to have a goal and a vision for your life. And like myself, I would write down everything that I wanted and everything that I needed back in my life. And I'd keep that with me in my little fanny pack or my little satchel. And I, anytime I started to feel down or anything like that, and I just pull that out, I'd look at it and, you know, eventually stuff keeps getting crossed off and crossed off. And the more that you see the things getting crossed off, the more, belief you have in yourself you know? <clears throat> right because Sorry. you're seeing yourself kind of climb that ladder of like okay you know if I was able to do this maybe I might be able to do that and it's just like baby steps of going back in you know uh, a different direction and uh you know I was curious too when you're talking about uh just you know manifesting things and trying to work things out what would you say was the biggest lesson that you learned during this time period about yourself, just like about the world in general? Uh, what would you say was like the thing that you're like, man, had had I not experienced all of this, I wouldn't have, uh, you know, known all of this? Um, it just, I think the biggest thing I learned is that people see real. People know real and know like they're able to see your heart and be able to see who you are. And to me, it just felt good knowing that people knew me, you know, and that it's, <coughs> sorry, again. It's okay, we're all good. We've all been through the allergies, trust me. Oh, it's bad, I ran out of my Zyrtec, I gotta go get some. Oh yeah, you gotta get that, right? You can't, you can't, you can't even continue a couple hours without it. No, but uh, yeah, just that, just knowing that people will see who you are if you're open and vulnerable about stuff you know because i was pretty pretty open and uh yeah right right okay now i do want to go ahead and jump into uh you know some of the stuff that you obviously you just got back to impact wrestling and huh? we're seeing the uh, you reunite with trey mcgall and uh from the looks of it the rascals are back you got it going once again rascals uh, are back. <laughs> yeah so what can we expect now moving forward and what are some of your goals like not just within impact wrestling but just like in general um we can expect for like going forward now is a more raw, rugged side of the rascals. I know the first shot at impact, we were cutesy and fun and, you know, we did the tree house and we were kind of not comedic relief, but we, we were a little bit comedic relief, but now there's, 
there's a goal we want to show that we are the best tag team in the world and that uh you know the impact wrestling tag team championships were a title that i never got and that's something that i still think about all the time and that's one thing that like i definitely want but not only just that but i want to be able to show too that uh i can compete as a singles wrestler as well not just as a tag team wrestler so whether that's <coughs> sorry oh my god uh whether that's like after we get the tag team titles because that's first and foremost but if we after we get the tag team titles maybe go for the x division maybe go for the world heavy it doesn't it doesn't matter to me i just want to show that i am valuable in wrestling and not only can i be a tag team wrestler but i can carry a company i can carry main events i can do all that stuff because i definitely believe that i can and you know i want the world to believe that i can Right, exactly. All righty. Well, I look forward to seeing, um, you know, what you and Trey Miguel continue to do on Impact Wrestling. We do have Slammiversary that's taking place July 15th. But before we go, uh, please let the people know where they can find you on social media, support you, check out Impact Wrestling, all that good stuff. Check out Impact Wrestling every Thursday nights, 8 p.m. on Access TV. Uh, we just signed a new deal overseas for DAZN, D-A-Z-N, or yeah. Yeah, D A Z N. Yeah, yeah. the zone. <laughs> uh, and you can find me on Twitter at Zachary Wentz. Uh, you can find me on Instagram at Zachary Wentz Official. I wanted my Twitter to be the same as my Instagram. For some reason, it just didn't work out. Whatever. <laughs> but yeah, uh, also, I got a brand new entrance jacket that you can find on stiffblade.com. We also just uh, dropped a new shirt as well. So check him out. Their stuff's amazing. So, yeah. Awesome. Well, I'm going to post all of the links to that in the description box below. And until next time, I'm Denise Salcedo. This is Zachary Wentz, and we'll catch you on the next episode. See you, everyone.